My mom and I currently work together. She is a manager at the company, but we both have a manager that is higher than her and I. We are both very close to her. They hang out outside of work almost all the time. I have also hung out with her outside of work with my mom. With that being said, anything that happens outside of work tends to affect our relationship at work as well and vice versa. To set up this scene, it was a Friday night when I had just gone home from hanging out with some friends. Our manager was having a birthday party for her daughter, which my mom and I were both invited to. That was Saturday night. Although I already had plans to go to Six Flags, my mom was upset that I was not gonna go to the party, which since we all work together, she expects me to be at all the events our manager invites us to. Hey, I just wanted to make sure you're going to Raina's daughter's birthday party tonight. Hey, no, I'm not going to make it because I already have plans with Marisol to go to Six Flags tomorrow and the tickets have already been bought. Wow, I cannot believe you're not gonna go. Raina does everything for you and you cannot go to parties that she invited you to? How selfish of you. Okay, well, I already had my plans way before Raina invited me to go. I'm sorry if that obsessed you, but everything she has invited me to, invited me to, I always go to and never miss it. This is the one time I have plans with Raina. I do not care what plans you have, you need to go. I see that you are becoming angry because you are starting to raise your voice at me. Is it because I already had plans to go out? Or is there something else to it that is going on? Can you please let me know what it is? No, as I said, you're being rude that you do not want to go. Look, it is not that I do not want to go because I always love going, but I already have plans that are settled settled in for two. Yeah, that is not true. You just do not want to go on that six excuse that you are making up. I feel frustrated that you are believing that I am lying to you instead of telling you the truth because when I try to explain to you what the actual truth is, it causes an argument between you and I. So you're telling me how so you tell me how you feel does not matter right now. I am done hearing what you have to say. I just want you to go. That is it. Raina is going to be upset that you are not there. This is for her. Do not understand that. Okay, I understand what you are telling me. I am sure that she will understand as well once I tell her why I won't be going. So you're not so you're really not gonna go just to go to six flags? No, I am not going to go and I just let her know that as well. I will still be getting her daughter a gift and giving it to her myself. Just because I am not going does not mean I do not want to go or that I don't care. I just had plans already. She would never do this to you. She went to your party that you had, your graduation, your awards night, and has always helped you out. Now you cannot return the favor and go. I am sorry that I cannot make it. If she had plans already and she was not able to make it to something I invited her to, I would completely understand. Now I'm sure that she is not going to mind as much as you are thinking. I believe you are way more hurt than she will be. No, it's just embarrassing for me when I have when I show up and everyone asks where you are, I will have to say that you wanted to go to Six Flags and that's why you were not able to attend. So you're telling me that you are upset about this because you think I'm lying to you? That it is rude of me not to go because she always goes to any events of mine and because you are embarrassed that you will have to tell people why I'm not there. Is that correct? Yes. I am upset with you because you just want everything your way and are never thinking about what others are going to think. Okay. I'm sorry that you are currently doing that. I'm not at all lying to you because I have no reason to lie to you. I also am not trying to be rude. I am trying my best to make an effort by letting me know, by letting her know my reason on why I will not be there, as well as I am personally going to her house on Monday after work to give her daughter the gift that I am going to get her. I also do not mean for you to, to feel embarrassed. I hope everyone understands why I'm not going. If I did not even have those tickets bought yet, I would go to the party for sure. Okay then, I see that you're making an effort. It does upset me that you are not going to go because I feel like that is the polite thing to do. But you did have those plans made already as you proved to me. Thank you for trying your best by texting Raina and going to give her daughter a gift personally. I know you want me to go. Again, I am really sorry. I will for sure be at her next event she invites me to. Okay, I'm sorry for being difficult with you. I hope you have fun tomorrow. It's okay, I understand. Are we okay now? Yes, we are.